Hi, Joanna Hadaraska, Nutrition in Motion, Nutrition for Body, Mind, Spirit, and Sport. So yesterday I was watching a webinar and it was all about um, behavior or eating behavior challenges or something of that nature. And although I agreed with most of the things that they were talking about, something that really bugged me was developing alternatives. And, you know, developing alternatives has to be different for every single person. And that's what I do when I'm working with my clients is I help them understand what the emotional trigger is. I help them understand what is the stress eating or the emotional eating that is going on and really process it differently so that we have a different outcome. In the webinar, they were talking about finding an alternative, which um, you need to find at least five, according to them. But one of them was they used the example of chocolate. And of course, you know, chocolate is one of my stress triggers, but it's also, uh, as I have learned, that it's what I celebrate with, it's what I'm stressed with, it's what I'm happy with, I'm depressed with. You know, it kind of covers a lot of bases for me, but it actually improves my quality of life rather than detract from it. And one of the suggestions for chocolate was make some hot chocolate with some raw cocoa nibs, uh, powder, and, you know, that'll help to have the same effect without the sugar, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, there's no freaking way I'm going to be, you know, having an alternative like that. You know, it's got to make sense for every single individual. And I have learned that I have to learn why is it that I'm eating chocolate? What is it that's the trigger? When I heal the emotion associated with the trigger and uh, then the chocolate, I'm not going to not eat the chocolate, but I might end up eating just two squares instead of the whole bag of of squares. And I learn which chocolate actually works for me and which ones don't. So working through emotional eating isn't so simple as here, find these alternatives. It's got to be an open dialogue with the client so that we help you understand, okay, what's really going on? Tell me about that situation. What are the emotions that are coming up? And how do we help you process it differently so that there's a different outcome? Because if you eat the whole bag of chocolate, you're probably now instilling more uh, emotional stress uh, because you feel guilty about eating that. You feel shameful for that. And then you're you know, berating yourself for being such a bad person. And it's really not being bad for having an emotional trigger and, and stress eating. It's really about what can we do to help you work through it in a different way to understand what the trigger is, heal the emotional that the emotional issue that is triggering the um, the stress, and then develop different alternatives after that. So if you have questions about emotional eating um, and how to work through those emotional stresses, reach out to me, Joanna Hadaraska, Nutrition in Motion, nutritioninmotion.net.